if you've ever been to a tech game, you've probably seen Colonel Warmoth. He's one of the gunfighters, the group of fighter jets that fly over each football game. And although he's retiring from the service tomorrow, he hopes to continue helping the veteran community. You know, I'll be done with my service, but, you know, I can still take care and help with, you know, the veterans that have done so much for this country. It's something he's done for nearly 30 years in the military and hopes to continue doing through his career in medicine. I really have used deployments as an example of what we're all going through in medicine right now. You wake up with the coronavirus, you go to bed with it, you work with it all day long. You know, the, the medical people have been doing this for 10 solid months. Everybody has, but we live and sleep in this world every day. And it's a lot, and I, I really think there are going to be a lot of people have some PTSD after this. Very much like when you're in a war zone. Colonel Larry Warmoth is retiring this week having spent most of his service as a flight surgeon and also a gunfighter here in Lubbock, flying F-16s over tech games and organizing the flight over hospitals to honor our health care workers. He's also the medical director at Bridge Hospice, where he helped develop a hospice plan specifically for veterans in their final stages of life. He understands um, what they've um, gone through on some level um, and appreciates their service in a way that um, only someone who's been in the military can. There, there are few jobs in this world when you wake up in the morning, your job is to help people, you know, and that's what we get to do in medicine and healthcare. I hope I get to do a lot more of that. Amy Cazera, KMAC News.